Lovable 2.0 is here, and this is what people are building with it. One user on X built a social media management dashboard showing analytics, scheduled posts, and engagement across platforms. I tried to build a Line Rider clone, and another user built Lovable using Lovable. But what makes Lovable 2.0 different from the original Lovable? Well, the first thing is collaboration. Lovable 2.0 finally adds multiplayer workspaces. Pro users can invite two collaborators, and teams get 20 seats, shared credits, and role control. Next, we have dev mode. You can now edit code directly inside of your project, mixing AI speed with control. And this wasn't possible in the first version of Lovable. After that, there's the chat mode agent, which basically lets you chat about your code without modifying it. You can plan, debug, and ask questions. And then we've got visual edits, which got an upgrade too. Style updates are also faster and more precise. And then finally, Lovable has a new look. The brand is sharper. There's a cleaner sidebar UI and AI tools, settings, and scans are all easily within reach. So with all of that said, how does Lovable 2.0 stack up against the competition? Well, Jesse AI did a test. He ran the same prompt through Lovable 2.0, Bolt.new, and Tempo Labs, and here's what happened. Bolt.new came out on top with the strongest generative output. Tempo Labs struggled with project organization, and Lovable 2.0, well, Jesse wasn't impressed with the results. Now, let's talk about pricing. It's really hard to compare these tools because Lovable is priced around credits, Bolt that new is priced around tokens and Tempo Labs is priced around messages, but compared with its previous version, Lovable 2.0 costs 25% more for the same number of prompts. So is Lovable 2.0 actually going to be loved?